Today we're testing out some of Honda's electric go-karts. This is kind of a new prototype platform that they're developing. We have swappable batteries, 1.3 kilowatt hours each. There's two of them, one on each side. They weigh 22 pounds each, and we have their EGX electric motor in the back. They haven't released horsepower figures yet, but we kind of assume around 10 horsepower or so. We have hydraulic brakes a cable actuated electronic throttle, one rear caliper here for the rear axle. The swappable batteries are pretty easy to put in and out. They last for about 30 minutes in the type of car that we're doing today, and they take around five hours to charge. They're going with a little bit more of a conservative charge curve on these batteries for longevity, but you can see here, they're pretty easy to swap out. So you just flip this up. Just pull them out they lock in and then unlock and it's pretty easy to do that okay let's go karting all right inside lane go all right off we go
back a little. <laughs> it's all good. Cool. Well, I guess what we're most excited about is how easy it is to swap these batteries and how usable it is. Uh, it's, it's as simple as opening this box, sliding it in, flashing it closed, and that's it. So super easy to do. Most electric carts on the market are plug-in charged. So when you're done, you have to mm. plug it in and wait. Whereas with these, um, if you have enough batteries, you can run as many batteries as you have. <laughs> uh, it's, it's easy to swap out. So uh, yeah. how much does it weigh? The, this cart weighs 230 pounds. <laughs> so it's it's a little heavier than it should be. It is. It is a little bit heavier. We've got you know, 20 kilos of batteries. It's, it's, it's pretty heavy. Those, those two-stroke engines and the shifters are lightweight these days. Uh, but, you know, these, the other thing that's really nice about this electric powertrain is it's virtually maintenance-free. I mean, there's some chain moving and making sure things are tight and that sort of thing. But other than that, you're not um, tuning carbs, you're not changing fluids, you're not changing engines because some of those some of the shifters uh, we know don't last very long. So, uh, you know, the reliability quality of this stuff is, is really high. It's also, it's it's a little bit wider than the standard cart. Uh, this one is a parallel chassis, actually, a uh, standard parallel chassis mm. that, we've, that we've installed this power train on. Oh. So it is, a, it is a racing cart. It's not it's not the same as like a K1 speed cart. It's a bit, a bit more racy than that. It's more aggressive. So you'll notice that driving it. It's, it's got a little more steering effort. Um, just yeah, on the chassis it just it's wider than I remember, uh, like you know, uh, you know, a, an old pipe cart or um, oh, okay. you know things like that. Yeah, with this, the two battery packs on either side. Yeah, these these I mean these bumpers are actually at the in the standard position, mm -hmm. so they fit they fit nicely there. I'm also super old, so maybe my <laughs> I think the carts these days are, are growing like everything else. But What's the top speed? Yeah. Top speed is 45 miles an hour. Uh, that can depend on, on gearing. We have it geared uh, today so that you can feel the, the torque and, and feel kind of the benefit of electric over the, over the IC engine.